Today wrapped up the annual Arts Alive Home and Garden Show. Our reporter Talia Do Bravo was there and shows us how this year's festival went. Our community has to offer. This year, we are back to our pre-pandemic, pre-ice storm, pre all of those issues that we've had the past couple of years that have maybe hindered people from coming out. But this year, we haven't seen any of that. Um, I think people are ready to get back out and enjoy uh, what the community has to offer. Local business Sutherlands has been a part of the Arts Alive Home and Garden Show for all 26 years. Assistant Manager Amanda Buller says her favorite part about coming every year is getting people ahead of the game for the spring season. Lawn and Garden is one of my departments over at the store, so I like being able to give awareness of like what kind of plants people should be growing, um, what kind of products they need to use, and just kind of get spring in people's minds early. Um, in about two weeks, we're going to get all our plants in, um, so this just kind of plants a little seed for people to know it's almost time to garden. Jaime Olguin, owner of Carpet Pros Wichita Falls, says the traction his business received this weekend made it worth having his booth at the festival. There was a lot of people that didn't know us, and now they do. There were thousands that came by our business, and so I believe that we are going to have a really, really good outcome by coming here. It was worth it, investing and being here. Shiplett says what makes the show special for her is seeing the families come and take a look around. Love seeing the families come out. You know, we want to provide a family-friendly environment, a positive, safe atmosphere that people can come and just enjoy, look around, spend a couple of hours. Uh, for me, that's been the best thing, just to see the families come out and support. Another year of success, another year of investing into our community. Talia Do Bravo, KPDX 3 News. All proceeds go back to the Arts Council of Wichita Falls, used for community arts education programs, free for the community, and more.